1987 was hosted by the Usuku County Member of Parliament, Honorable Peter Ugwang, to hand over the pledges the Member of Parliament promised his constituents during the parliamentary campaigns. The Member of Parliament handed over a tractor to the Usuku Women Groups, an ambulance to the constituency, and 110 bicycles to all LC1 chairpersons in the district and mobilizers. The president also attended the groundbreaking ceremony for St. Stephen's Catholic Mission in Katanga Cell, Katakwi Town Council. According to the head of the mission, Father Remy Nyangere, the construction is expected to cost 1.5 billion Uganda shillings. En route, Priscilla Comprehensive Girls Secondary School in Angobo Village, which was handed over to the government, the president made a stopover along Katakui Moroto Road where he interacted with a group of young girls. At the same ceremony, President Seveni was introduced to Anyait Janet Massey, who was found in 2001 circling her mother's breast after her mother had been killed by cattle rustlers. Anyait is currently in Senior 4 at Halcon High School in Soroti District. The Oliver School has a total of 267 students. According to the deputy head teacher, Mr. Ichida Emmanuel, handing over the school to government will help to address the high rate of school dropouts in the district. In his speech, President Seven said that the National Resistance Movement is a party that looks at politics as a contest of ideas. For us, we said, please, for us, we are not, we are not God. We are not Asuban, we are just ordinary people. We, we can only do what the human strength can manage. But the principle is again, step by step, we shall reach. But there is a difference between development and wealth. He said that even when fighting Id Amin, some people supported the idea of assassinating him and others opposed it. In the end, those against killing him won. On the issue of the Karimajong disarmament, the president said that there were people like David Pulko and Western NGOs who opposed the move, saying that the Karamajong should only be disarmed if the Turkana in Kenya, the Morana in Ethiopia, the Topaz in Sudan, and the Pokot, because it would make them weak against their enemies when they invaded. To vote, if you had voted badly in 2001, <laughs> For 2006, and voted for the Purkors, for the Arasos, for the Vesiges. I don't know what the situation would be. So I congratulate you for voting wisely, and now you have peace here. However, the government insisted and successfully disarmed the Karamajong. On his part, the host, the MP Ogwang, thanked the president for restoring peace in the region. This community here is a community which accepts leaders as one. And our people of Katapi have accepted you. Your Excellency, the peace, that achievement of peace for me, it is the greatest, and that is the reason why our people support the United. UBC TV, Hollywood, Nambi.